Uh, hello, this is Dennis Mike, and this is a brief video introduction to Module 1 in EDU uh, 654. And the first module, you know, I would love to be able to give you kind of an easy intro into the course, but in point of fact, uh, the opposite is going to occur. And I can tell you that it's probably going to be the most work intensive module in the whole course. And uh, I did not anticipate this, but I can't avoid the reason. The reason is that in the instructor presentations, I'm supposed to cover research. And for this first one, I couldn't talk about research in the area of standard one culture without getting a few key concepts on the table to make sure that we're all working from a level playing field. I had to talk about the difference between quantitative research and qualitative research. I had to talk about both validity and reliability with respect to both of those methodologies. Otherwise, everything that came later in the course with respect to me talking about research would not make as much sense. So because of the need to uh, add that kind of introductory material into the first instructor module, uh, you're going to find it's it's going to be a little bit longer to get through than usual. It's 55 slides long. I'm going to try to keep them to 30 in the future. But uh, anyway, the, the module is complete. Uh, the, in, you know, the structure of it is incredibly similar to what's going to follow in future modules. So if, if you're still trying to get your sense of the course, uh, one good way to do it would be to explore Module 1. Now, I'm not going to describe it in this video because that's what the module directions are for. I, I will say this about the topic itself. Culture is the first National Council for Social Studies standard out of 10. And I, I think they made it the first one uh, intentionally. Uh, in, in the, the brief video you're going to see, uh, one of the people who's being interviewed has this lovely line. She says, the children come to school wrapped in a blanket of culture. And uh, what this suggests is the first of two strands that we're going to see in this module. Uh, and that is what is sometimes called culturally responsive pedagogy. Uh, the notion of children coming to school wrapped in a, a blanket of culture kind of suggests that in order to teach them appropriately to make the linkage between the new information that you're teaching and the existing information they've already got in their heads, that you need to be sensitive to their culture because that's a big part of who they are and whether or not they'll accept your instruction without having to change things in their brain, in their, you know, in their schema, if you will. So that's the first strand of uh, discussion of culture, uh, the notion of culturally responsive pedagogy. The second strand is what I would refer to as simply multicultural education. And what that's referring to is culture, specifically other cultures, specifically cultures other than ours, uh, as curricular topics. So in the first one, we're dealing with pedagogy, with teaching. And in the second one, we're dealing with curriculum. So uh, th th this subject, this topic, is kind of foundational to all the other nine standards. So uh, in a way, I'm really sorry to have overburdened you with a, a you know, very long instructor presentation. And uh, you know, uh, the, the cost I paid as the instructor for doing that uh, other than the, the 25 hours I spent creating them. Uh, yeah, the, the one thing about the presentation, it, it's pretty much all me. I mean, I, I borrow a presentation from another student. I look at articles, and I take a page here and there. But yeah, it's 55 pages, essentially, of me talking to you and telling you what I think about this particular topic. I did not get to deal with instructional practice to the same extent that I would like. And the reason is because I did have to spend so much time on research. By the time I got done with that, the you know, presentation was already 50 slides long. So what I did was I only focused on one instructional 
uh, technique, if you will, and that's textbook use. I think that's an appropriate place to start because it's still the most common place in elementary and secondary where teachers go to get a sense of their curriculum and to also get a sense of uh, the order in which things are taught. Because generally when you use a book or a series, you go from the beginning, you go through the middle, and you go to the end. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, in a way, this module is overlong in the sense that uh, I discussed research uh, to a fuller extent than I will in the future. In the other sense, it's over short because the main thrust of this course is instructional practice. I mean, I am bound to provide some discussion of research and of theory, hence the, the title of the course. But the main focus, it's a, essentially a methods course, and I'm going to be focused on, on practice. I gave that short shrift in this module simply because it would have been too much work for you if I didn't do that. So anyway, that's module one. Uh, welcome to it. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something important and I, in closing, and I don't think I've, I've said this before. You can send me a draft of anything you want. Uh, it, you know, if, if it's getting close to the time when you're submitting your module one work for, for grading, and you, you know, I, I wonder how Dr. Mike feels about this. It would be handy for me to know if it's going to get full credit as if, as is, or if I need to change something. Any assignment in this course, please feel free to send me a draft. I mean, give me more than 15 minutes before the due time, but uh, I, I would be delighted to look at your work beforehand. And I think that that's going to be especially important with this first article response, because it, it kind of mirrors what you're going to see in the next nine modules. So uh, anyway, I, I see I've been talking for about eight minutes. This is also longer than I usually would in these intro uh, uh, videos, but, but so be it. Welcome to Module 1, and I'll see you inside.